Hi guys, uh, I'm going to make a lasagna from squash, which is really healthy and tasty. Uh, and uh, I hope you guys will like it. So I'm going to show you stage by stage what I'm doing. Middle of the squash, I'm going to cut it in small pieces uh, like this. Yes, guys, here I have uh, uh, empty the squash, the, this kind of squash, and that is the rest of the squash which I chopped it. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make squash lasagna. It's a new type and it's really healthy. It's uh, it doesn't need too much cream, cheese. I'm using cheese a little bit, but not too much. So with it, I'm using this nacho chips original, and uh, like uh, five uh, hundred gram uh, grinded um, meat and some uh, tandoori masala uh, there is a garam masala and there's also kind of uh, masala garam masala or uh, uh, any kind of masala if you want you can use it it's up to your taste how you like the taste like it's uh, spicy not spicy and um, i chopped uh, for um, garlic and salt as you need it and two um, uh, two carrots I uh, uh, grind it or we can say I chopped it and uh, two uh, two onion I chopped it and here are uh, uh, grinded uh, fresh tomato so I'm going to put a little bit of oil in 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 my pan which I put it on oven here I'm going to put it yeah not too much just a little bit for uh, because then I will put some uh, cheese on it so it will be really oily uh, so that's why um, we don't like to use oily that's why and so when my oil became a little bit uh, warm so then I can uh, use uh, I can put uh, onion like i can put onion right away yeah this guys now my um, onion is a little bit uh, pink color so now it's ready that i can um, put uh, my tomatoes in it so i'm going to put tomatoes uh, in it and this tomatoes i don't know did i say they don't know it's it's around uh, Four or five tomatoes you can use it and uh, grind it so, yeah here we are so I'll, I'll uh, wait a little bit till it uh, will soak its water and became a nice uh, gravy or a nice uh, kind of nice uh, sauce sauce uh, sorry sometimes I'm using Norwegian words uh, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying uh, yeah so now I'm going to uh, wait for some minutes um, to uh, to make it or to to soak its water then uh, when it's soak its water uh, then we are uh, putting our other things in it yeah. yes guys now um, my sauce is ready if you guys see there is no water and it has a really beautiful uh, uh, red color and um, the oil is um, on the top so it means that our that uh, our um, sauce is ready to um, to mix other things so before mixing other things I'm going to put uh, garlic which I um, which I uh, cut it putting some garlic in it and my masalas I'm putting masala in it turmeric powder and uh, other masala garam masala 
and here is a tandoori masala if you guys like to eat spicy yes uh, yes guys now I'm going to mix it yeah yeah I um, I did mix my um, uh, my masalas and I'm going to put a little bit uh, salt in it. And if you guys like to eat spicy, so you can add some spice in it. And now I'm going to add my uh, grounded meat in it. Then. Um, uh, mix it uh, well with that. I have to uh, mix it uh, very well until it became a little bit um, it's it, it's cooked a little bit and then I'm going to put uh, my chopped uh, squash and carrots yes guys now my um, Grounded meat is ready uh, that I can mix uh, my chopped uh, squash and uh, carrots. So, first, I'm going to put my uh, squash because uh, squash again will take out uh, lots of water. So, it's good to put a uh, squash first. And now mix it well. Uh, until it's uh, ready uh, to, to, to mix uh, my carrots in it. So we're going to wait a little bit for it uh, until its water became or it will soak its water. Then we can use uh, our um, carrot, or we can put our carrots. Yeah. Yes, guys. Now my um, squash is a little bit uh, cooked. So now I'm going to add uh, my carrots in it, and then again I'll wait for it at uh, all the stuffs which I mix together is cooked and then I will uh, begin or start second stage at uh, when it's ready then how to uh, put things uh, uh, in that squash which is empty now and putting it in oven and uh, making uh, squash lasagna there we are, now I'm putting uh, my carrots, now my carrots are in and now I'm going to wait um, uh, a, a bit, uh, a few more minutes till it's uh, getting ready, and then um, after that I will begin my uh, second stage and then uh, I'll tell you guys how to how to go from first to second stage and I, I hope you guys will like it and um, and uh, it will be the same tasty for you guys as it's for me my family love it and um, if you like my um, video 
so please subscribe my channel and on the bell icon and like the video and if you are going to subscribe and uh, click on bell icon so uh, you will get notification when I am posting uh, new videos so you will get notification that I did post uh, new videos for you guys so I hope you enjoy your mail yes guys now my um, sauce uh, is ready so I'm going to show you second uh, stitch yeah here we go uh, to our second stitch yes guys now my um, ingredient or we can say uh, my sauce is completely ready now I'm going to uh, fold these uh, empty squash uh, before before filling them um, I'm going to put a little bit oil or some uh, salt and some um, some masalas on it um, uh, as I used a little bit uh, salt in uh, in my uh, ingredients or in my sauce so I don't need to put too much masala in it I mean uh, salt in it just time a little bit and then I'm using my um, black pepper a little bit uh, and uh, I think I put a little bit more salt in it this guys so I'm, I'm going to put a uh, black pepper in it to fill it with my this ingredients that like this now I'm going to use my nacho chips. This one I am uh, using uh, because uh, to cover the sides, like. Uh, I could uh, put a little bit more uh, more ingredients in it like uh, I will show you guys that yeah. okay So now I have a more space uh, to put some more ingredients. You see you guys like that. So Uh, 
um, if you guys are just cooking just one uh, one dish so if you do like that so it will be really enough uh, for one person but for example if you're going to um, make it for party so you can uh, just so you can use it without this also so let's see and uh, for sure I will fill all of them then after that I'm going to put uh, some cheese on it yes, guys now it's full and um, uh, some of them are with uh, nacho chips and some of them are not because my mom doesn't like nacho chips so that's why I um, I did not use it uh, for her and now it's time to put some cheese on it yes um, I'm going to put uh, some cheese on it then uh, after that <clears throat> then after putting cheese uh, I will uh, put it in uh, oven in um, 160 uh, um, the hotness of the oven and then uh, after after some minutes uh, we can check it and when it is ready or when it is like uh, uh, we see that uh, our squash is cooked this one which was empty the empty one the down one then we can uh, put it on uh, 250 uh, to 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 make it completely ready and then um, yeah so um, I hope you guys will um, make it once at home and I'm uh, sure enough uh, you guys will never regret it is something really um, really tasty and it's something really like healthy and uh, those who do don't like or doesn't like cheese they, they, they don't need to put it just they can cook it and eat it but if you are going to put a little bit cheese so it will look uh, beautiful and nice uh, so yeah so that's why i'm just putting not too much but a little bit cheese on it just uh, for uh, for decoration because when it's cooked uh, because when it's cooked then uh, it will look nice Hi hey guys, now I'm going to put my oven in 150, yeah, and um, I'm going to put my, um, my stuff is ready, and the one which has too much cheese is for my brother because he loves, and this, uh, this uh, little cheese is for my little princess, and I'm going to put it in oven, so I don't know, how much time it will take maybe it's around uh, first uh, you're going to put it for 10 minutes uh, or 15 minutes and 150 degree then after that uh, when you see that the empty squash is a little bit um, uh, like um, spongy so yeah you will understand that now it's cooked so you will turn it to 250 and don't go anywhere just wait because uh, maybe it will burn if you go anywhere so that's good um, to stay and I'm going to put it now in my oven and let's see uh, how and uh, I hope you guys like it we love it uh, it's really delicious and it's really like um, healthy food yes guys now it's ready actually it will looks it will look like that exactly like that but in my family um, they don't like too much cheese so that's why I didn't use too much cheese but exactly it will look like that so I hope you guys uh, will make for you and I hope you like it and enjoy it have a nice day bye bye